Same worry. Yes, he's always instrumental. Uh, so the Pennsylvania County Risk Pool, which is the county's insurance uh, carrier, decided about two years ago to do uh, grants to member counties, which, of which there are 43 member counties in Pennsylvania, for a uh, tracking for tracking systems in Pennsylvania, in Pennsylvania counties' prisons that are members of PCORP again um, for uh, risk control. And the reason it's a risk control or risk or loss control effort is because um, so often there are uh, when, when an incident happens or, or there's reason to go back and, and uh, track accountability or something there there are sometimes discrepancies in human reports where they'll put down a date or a time uh, that doesn't exactly line up with maybe what a previous report or what a video camera may have shown that sort of thing so there are products on the market, and in this case there are three vendors to choose from, that provide these tracking systems um, in various forms. So essentially, Pennsylvania County Risk Pool decided that they would grant the funds to each county, each member county, to purchase that kind of a tracking system for, for their prison, uh, even until I think May of 2019, to get something in place to go through the process and vet these different vendors. Uh, that's what the warden has been doing and uh, why he's here today to make a recommendation to you. Danielle's here because there's a there's an IT component to this as well because obviously anything that you're going to be tracking and doing it system why it's going to involve technology. So Correct. I just wanted to let you know that that's the funding is coming from uh, being a member of Pennsylvania County Risk Pool, pool and, and that's one of the benefits. So, there you go. Okay. Thank you, Commissioners, for having me. Um, again, Warden Robert Carnes from Lubbock County Correctional Facility, Daniel Hope from the uh, county's ITS, um, uh, the ITS director. Um, as, as Jamie has alluded to, um, uh, I've been, we've been soliciting three, uh, four tracking system companies or vendors that uh, provide this technology. And essentially what it is, it's a radio frequency ID number, which will uh, ID system which what it does is, is essentially tells us who's where and, and basically why they're there, as well as it provides a means of tracking for correctional staff uh, for um, our current logging system, which it's all manual. What the, what the system does is it authenticates the information and provides a credible authentication as opposed to just an officer's, um, uh, uh, an officer's ability to track an inmate's behavior or movement and putting it on on um, you know, on paper uh, and this has has been a topic of concern for actually the last year and a half two years within other uh, county facilities and, uh, and my counterparts and this tracking system provides uh, you know almost a clear-cut argument proof type of system that once it's authenticated there is no argument because it can be authenticated through a time stamp system that a check was done that this inmate was in this type of shape when when it was done and uh, so that's why I'm really sold on the system now we have um, we have interviewed uh, or actually got demonstration from, from three vendors one was timekeeping systems one was imaging systems who we actually use right now for our, our photo imaging for our inmates and uh, and the guardian system and the guardian system seems to fit best with our uh, with our system um, I, we uh, saw the last presentation was guardian and uh, Danielle was at that presentation and believes that you know that would be the best for the county as far as us moving forward um, essentially, um, just to give you a brief overview, um, uh, the Guardian system, how it works, it works on a docking station type of system whereby the, the officers hold a handheld system that they would just basically, almost like the time clock system of old where uh, an officer or an employee of a business would go around to an area and, stand, and time clock stamp uh, that they, to verify that they were actually at that particular position. This is just a step up with technology where that, uh, that officer would um, check an inmate in a specific cell or inmates 
um, and, um, and hit the docking station of that particular cell and then would record the information as far as the condition of the inmate um, if in fact um, they're on a wellness check or a security check. Uh, by Title 37, we're required to make sure all units are checked within, within a half hour, regardless of the uh, inmate's classification. And that is either put on a daily log uh, yeah, that's computerized right now, or via what we call isolation or segregation check sheets. This would do away with that. We would have a chronological order um, of exactly uh, who was checked, why they were checked, the condition that they were checked. And this would tie into also to our computer system. Um, for other uh, related departments to look at, like our medical department, uh, which we're, we're, um, we're very excited about as far as getting real-time information to the people that need it and not, you know, uh, days later, so to speak, by, uh, by word of mouth and or reviewing a check sheet. So um, based upon that, um, you know, I'm recommending that um, the commissioners adopt uh, the Guardian system. Uh, if you have any specific technical questions about it, that's why Danielle's here. I'm not the, I'm not the technical one, but if you, you want to ask uh, any questions about the, the tracking system, I recommend that we move forward so uh, we can take advantage of the funding stream um, that the County Commissioners Association of PA is providing. I think it's a good system. I think it's a great opportunity for Lebanon County to upgrade the existing system that we have. Yes. Um, I have a question. I know there are times um, we have to make sure that we have enough bandwidth or optic fiber. Um, are we going to have to install or upgrade our current incoming or outgoing fiber optic lines or anything like that in order to accomplish? I'm in favor of this. I just want to know if we're adding an expense for that. It's already calculated in my budget figures for the upcoming year because okay. we were, which we obviously haven't presented yet, but we've been working on this. so. I accounted for that in the upcoming. So, and can you give me an idea of what that additional cost is? Uh, not off the top of my head. It's not going to be a large expense. Okay. It's it's going to fit into what we needed to do anyway. You needed to do it anyway. I know Correct. that we would run out of bandwidth, so I was figuring something had to be in the works. Yes. Okay, that was my biggest question: is how yeah. are we going to manage all that traffic on our lines? Understood. And when does this go into effect? If we pass it today. Well, if you pass it today, then what I do is, is um, based upon um, uh, uh, your um, decision to adopt it, we forward it to uh, CCAP because they they always they already have um, this. They temporarily have reviewed it and are on board with it. But uh, obviously, the adoption and the move forward has to come from the county commission. So once uh, once uh, they're notified that you have publicly. Uh, approved it, they'll move forward, and um, then Guardian will, pro um, you know, present a proposed contract. Obviously, before we move forward on that, you know, our solicitor will have an opportunity to, to review that, and then we'll move forward on it. So, so I guess, so I guess, my proposal is is that you adopt it pending approval of CCAP and the review of our county solicitor, so we can implement this system. So they haven't given you a like. Two months or two no, 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 uh, no. As long as the contract signed before next May, we're in good shape. Okay, so yes. you're not rushing. You're just taking no. baby steps. So they would be able to accept the proposal, as he said. Then there'd be a contract, and then they work on an implementation schedule. Okay. But we're we're well ahead of what the uh, we're not up against it here. So That's correct. Getting, once the contract is signed, then we're we're guaranteed the uh, the grant from. Thank you. I'll put forth the motion that we adopt the uh, option of the Guardian. And I'll uh, second the motion. All right, I have a motion and a second to uh, accept the Guardian system as presented by the warden. Uh, all those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed? So ordered. All Thank, you, Thank you, Commissioner. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks, Danielle. Sure. <laughs>